Hi guys, Maya with Simply Bloom. I'm out in the garden today. This video is just gonna kind of be like a mixture of a bunch of random stuff. We'll see if I can get everything done. But I came out to the garden, I just got off of work and I'm so sad. I'm standing in front of my corn and a horse got in. A horse got in to my corn. Now we have three horses on the property. This section here is like in front of our horse pasture, but all three horses are in. As far as I can tell, they didn't get out. Um, if they did get out, they somehow got back in, which in that case, I don't know. But I think it was a different horse that just came in to check on our horses, but like half my corn is eaten. Let me show you. Okay, so like right off the bat, we have eaten munch, 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 chew, chew, chew. And it just, I mean, it continues all throughout. Look at this, look at this. And okay, this corn has been a struggle. Look at all that. And there's hoof prints right there. there it's big hoof prints too. This corn has been a struggle because I planted one variety earlier. It was the Gurney's Gotta Have It Sweet Corn. I planted that variety. There were 240 seeds and only like 55 seeds germinated. That's an SE, SE2 variety, which means it's just super like sweet sugar, sugar in hand, super sweet, sweet corn. So then I did my research and I realized I could plant another SE2 variety with it and still get the corn. Otherwise, if you don't match the varieties, then they'll like knock each other out and you'll just get some nasty corn. So I planted, it was burpees. It was a variety from burpees. I can't remember the variety. I planted like 300, <laughs> like kernels, 300 seeds of the corn and seed starter trays. And then once those germinated and came up, I transplanted all of those in between, spaced them out perfectly uh, in between the 55 or whatever that came up from gurneys. So I already planted these twice and I am so upset because now like fifth, like half, half of my corn is just eaten. Oh, anyways, for today's video, <laughs> Now that that little spiel is over. I realized that my uh, my guineas were being extra loud, so I'm sorry if they were bugging you. So I moved away from them a little bit. But for today's video, I have some watering to do, just some spot watering. It's been raining pretty consistently, so everything in the ground is fine, but some of my baskets and containers just dry out faster. So I'm going to be spot watering today, and then, oh, I'm so excited. I think I have my first dahlia ready to pick. I'm gonna go check on that. I've been watching it and it was just starting to crack. The bud was starting to crack open and show some color yesterday. So I think today's the day. If it's ready, I'm gonna harvest it and a couple other things and make my first dahlia arrangement, like ever. So excited. And then I have a couple other random things to plant. And I need to get all this done before my son wakes up from his nap. So let's get started. Nap time did not last long. All right, barely got the watering done and nap time was over, but I brought him out with me because I want to check on the dahlia. <laughs> There's Jem walking through, walking through the cut flower garden. Excuse the weeds, I know, I know. Okay, I see it and I thought it would be a lot more open than it is. Let's check on it. Oh my goodness, look at these. Look at those buds, not quite ready. This one, oh, it's so close, so close. This is the mystery day dahlia. I swear I was like that two days ago. I thought dahlias moved faster than this, but I guess not. But looking amongst the weeds, I see I have lots of other flowers that are ready and open. I have a ton, holy smoke. So I think I am going to pick 
a little arrangement not too much because i want to save flowers for when that dahlia opens in the next day or so um but i want to do a little one so let's see what we can find Okay, you guys, I know this is not how you do a proper arrangement. <laughs> this is just something fast in the field. Um, normally, I would trim these and let them hydrate for a while. That's really long, holy smokes. We'll see how this goes. Normally, you would want to pick these, let them hydrate really well before doing an arrangement and definitely not on a hot day in the field, but this is what we're going with. Okay, after having a three-year-old help me, <laughs> this is uh, what we came up with. This is what she did. It's so beautiful, Gem. Good job. Okay. <laughs> Definitely not what I was going for, but I think it's so important to let, <laughs> let, them, let them help, you guys. This is where they learn. This is where they develop their love for nature and the garden. So this is what we got. Like I said, not what we were going for, but she loves it and it was good memories. All right, you guys, definitely not what I was going for today, but um, little man right here is getting a little fussy. So I think that's just gonna be it for the video, which really doesn't seem like I did anything. I got some watering done and an arrangement. <laughs> that's it for today. <laughs> that's all, uh, all he's allowing. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.